Hello and welcome to Dark Souls 3. Now this video is going to be a bit different from most of the other videos I've made. And uh, it's going to be a bit of grinding more or less. I'm level... let's see here. I'm level 97 and uh, I think we're at the final boss. Granted there are some side bosses that I haven't beaten. I found Osiris, whatever his name was. Uh, and I managed to beat him in one hit. So, well, no, not one hit, but in one try. So I never made a video about him because... I, Seems to come a bit over leveled for him to be honest. So yeah, I made a video before where I um, showed off some of my best grind spots, and after making that video, I found this grind spot. So this is where we'll be uh, grinding. So what I'm using when I do this is I'm using the Undead Legion armor. Why? Well, because I figure it's got to be better to have at least a little bit, right? A little bit of armor. There we go, Undead Legion. Undead Legion. Everything except for the helmet. Because the helmet, we need the symbol of Avarice. And of course, I'm using the Covetous uh, Silver Serpent Ring. Uh, I have the Covetous Gold Serpent Ring as well, which gives me more um, items as well. I'm also using the Shield of Want because... Oops, I accidentally removed it. Uh, but as it says here, show item info, uh, equip the right hand uh, well. The rest of the king's lust still resmolds within the shield, increase the number of souls of sword when enemies are defeated. So, yeah. So this is basically my grinding setup. And I'm still using my uh, black blade. I have tr been trying out some different stuff. Let's see here. So the reason why I go here is because this guy is super close. I don't know why he kicked there, that seems like it makes some sense. Either way, 4,950. And then we can just use the thing, fight him again. So it's really, really fast, and all around just really, really good. <laughs> like, the silver uh, knights probably give more souls, because there are three of them. But ultimately that takes a lot more time, so... Uh, the, sh the symbol of avarice is kind of bad because it makes us take damage all the time. Also, I have I maxed out my stock of large shards, so not really getting any anymore. But still, it's really good. The best way, of course, is to get the backstab, but uh, you can't always do that. I'm gonna get some Lothric Knight stuff. Um, like I said, we get about 5,000 every time we do this, so we get a lot of money for this. Plus whatever we get for selling their armor that they drop. And if you wanted to drop more armors and stuff, you can always equip the Golden Serpent Ring. Um, I don't remember how I got the Silver Ring, but the Gold Ring is actually kind of tricky to get. You have to find... Uh, Sigurd of Katarina in the, um, uh, let's see here, uh, in the Irithyll dungeon. That was pretty tricky, actually, finding him. You have to go through the profane capital and all that stuff. It's really weird. Here we go. I mean, I was going to do this. So I figured, what the heck, we'll make a video. It'll be fun. I talk about random stuff. And now I think I've explained pretty well what I'm doing. So, let's go to the next turn. 39,000. I think we need about 60,000 to level up. So, yeah, I mean, we can talk about basically anything, so. There we go. I'm honestly, we'll see, we'll see. I got Dark Souls 2 on my PS4. Uh, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. It doesn't seem like it's as good as this game, but then again, I mean, a lot of people like Dark Souls 1 and 2. I do have Dark Souls 1 on PC as well. Not the remastered version, but the, uh, the original. Had it for a long time. I remember the first time I tried it, I got stuck on the, um... Oops. 
uh, on the what's gonna call them the gargoyles yeah the gargoyles uh, the double gargoyle fight uh, that's why I got stuck in the first one it seems like the first one might be a bit easier we'll see we'll see I mean I've been doing pretty fine with this game so it would be fun to give one of the older ones a shot it would be fun to play Elden Ring, but I don't have that game and it's still very expensive. So that probably won't happen. There we go, get the backstab. And that's 50k. Yeah, this is really fast, to be honest. Like, granted, it depends on how much you actually need, but like 50, 60,000 pretty quickly, just possible. We'll see, I don't really want to make this video super long, so I might not grind all the way to level 100. But the idea is to get to le at least level 100 before I try the final boss. Just because I feel like that's probably a good level. There we go. <clears throat> we'll see. I might uh, stream something like this. I don't know. I streamed uh, Final Fantasy um, Stranger of Paradise, and that was kind of a Dark Souls-like theme. It was pretty fun. It was a bit rough, though. It was more rough than this, for sure. This game is very smooth in many ways. Like, like I mean, see, here's the thing. Like... When you play Dark Souls 3, at least I do, I'm using swords, okay? The only weapon I feel like I probably couldn't handle is the great sword. Like, I feel like magic, sure, maybe I could do that. Uh, daggers, sure, I could probably do stuff with daggers. I don't have any good daggers, and I don't have any stats for um, magic, but... I mean, if I went for a build, that could work. But then you go, like, for example, the, there, uh, Final Fantasy Stranger Paradise, it's like, yeah, we need to use swords and we need to use magic. Primarily magic. <laughs> it's like, hmm. I don't know, I did try it uh, a second time after finishing the game on my, uh, on, on, on Twitch, like, uh, streaming it. I did try it again. But I just didn't... It just, uh, I got pretty far. I did beat a couple of the bosses, but I just didn't feel like it anymore. It just was boring. Because it just feels like the one thing that works is just spamming magic. That's like the thing that works the best. Sure, there is... Uh, I mean, like in this game, I haven't mastered parrying. That game has its own version of parrying, basically, where you use the red orb, whatever it's called, to take a hit... I mean, that, that works. Like I said, I'm not very good at parrying. This, um, this shield, I don't even know if you can parry with this shield, to be honest. I don't think you can parry with this shield. Because it allows you to use um, whatever ability your sword has. Which, honestly, I'm not very good at using sword abilities, for sure. Yeah. I've been playing around too much. There we go. Quick to sip. I mean, we're already 83,000. This is a really good spot. But we'll see. Uh, right now, as I'm recording this, uh, when I stream, I stream... Uh, I, I tend to stream three different games. A week, basically. Monday, Tuesday, I stream one game. Wednesday, I stream one game. And then Thursday, Friday, another. I feel like it's nicer than streaming just one game every day of the week. Like, sure. That works, too. I mean, I'm not knocking anybody who does that. Although I know a lot of people do that. Like, play one game throughout an entire week. I just feel like there's more variety to streaming, like, different games. Right now, I'm streaming Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Um, the the Switch remake of the first game. I'm in the post game. It's pretty cool. It's pretty fun. I stream that Monday, Tuesday, Wednesdays. I stream uh, Opera Omnia. We'll see. Um, 
It's it's a fun game, but it's like a it's a mobile game. It does kind of feel like the interest for it has cooled down, so I might try something else. We'll see. They're gonna release a new one later um, from Final Fantasy uh, about Final Fantasy Seven. We'll see. Might do some dual links. And then Thursday, Friday, right now, it's uh, I play Final Fantasy XIII too. I play a lot of Final Fantasy games. <laughs> Once I'm done with XIII, too, I'll be doing uh, Lightning Returns, uh, the second playthrough. And so that's my plans right now on Twitch, really. And you know, YouTube, I'm primarily just doing my Dark Souls videos right now. That I'm, well, I mean, we don't have a lot of bosses left. I did find uh, Sister Frida. We'll see. Maybe I'll make a video on that. Uh, I did try a little bit, but I didn't have enough time. That DLC is really weird because it's like, oh yeah, you can start it now. We recommend you start it at a certain point. I started like super late. And it's like super easy until it gets hard. And it's like, what? But I thought this, I thought it was balanced to a lower level. <laughs> but then it isn't. And I mean, the final boss kind of represents that. I managed to get to the third phase. The first phase is fairly easy, like, not saying that it's an easy boss, but comparatively, like, the damage uh, it deals is not that bad, um, not that hard to dodge, etc, etc. Then the second phase is tougher, and then the third phase is like, holy crap, this, this thing is killing me instantly. <laughs> it's kind of weird, it just doesn't really, it feels like, like, what level was I supposed to do this at? Like, 100? 110? But the first phase doesn't feel like it's... that at all. Like, that's like, okay, you can do this at level 40. 50, whatever. I mean, you can basically, I think, you can probably do most bosses fairly easily if you're just good at the game. And you've played all the other Dark Souls games. I think it's actually killing you. There we go. Another large titanite shard. It's good. Almost have enough for two levels, I think. Okay. <clears throat> it's probably because I'm talking a lot. Uh, <laughs> not focusing on the game. Um... I think it's about next month they're gonna release the new um, Klonoa remaster. That's gonna be fun. I'm gonna try to get that. We'll see. I might make some videos on it. Maybe not. We'll see. We'll see. I, I played Klonoa 2 a lot back in the day. It's a really good game. Very different from Dark Souls, yeah. <laughs> Very fun though. Fun platformer. I figured maybe I could like trade that last hit, but no. He wasn't interested in a trade. A large titanite shard. There is another knight out there, but it's just so much faster to just beat this knight and then just heal up, fight him again. Easy peasy. Lothric Knight Helm. We got some kind of token as well. 120. Once we reach 130, I think we have enough. Think. I'm not sure. We'll probably we might have enough for two. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. There we go. This armor set is cool. I'm, I'm I like that it's uh, light enough that I can use it while using the symbol of avarice. And it's so good too, because if we die, our souls will literally be next to the bonfire. It's fine. <laughs> there we go. 133. Let's check out the firelink shrine. But yeah, I mean, yeah, <laughs> that's about it. We'll see, we'll see. Like I said, I have Dark Souls 2 and 1. We'll see, maybe I'll make a, a video at least on one of them, we'll see. 
Um, I'm saying that a lot, I know. I didn't want to start them until after I finished Dark Souls 3 because I feel like they're going to be different and I don't want to go between them, if you know that, like, if, if that makes sense. Because, like, they seem very different. I did watch a bit of a video on Dark Souls 1 and apparently while you lock on, you can't really dodge how you want. You have to dodge roll to, like, left, right, forwards, backwards. You can't go, like to the left forwards and to the left back etc etc which seems a bit weird and wonky but um we'll see we'll see of course it's taking a real long time for the game to load so sometimes it does that it's really annoying it does it mostly when i'm recording though so that's probably why it does it but i mean we can talk about stuff in while it's doing this or i could just edit it out um, but yeah, I mean, um, yeah, that's about that, to be honest. Um, movies, the, um, Thor Ragnarok, no, not Thor Ragnarok, the Thor Love and Thunder is coming out soon, that's gonna be cool, looking forward to that one. Um, heard that the new Jurassic Park movie wasn't that good, which is a shame, because I was looking forward to it, but, uh, I haven't seen it yet, I'll see it eventually, though. We'll see. Honestly, we'll see. We'll see. Honestly, there are a lot of games that are really fun. Oh, here we go. I just realized we should probably unequip the, this. Yes, this is my character. Right, I could wear that armor here because it's really cool and I doubt I'll ever wear it anywhere else. So, the. Um, The Black Knight set. <laughs> Again, mostly because it's cool. And I it took me a while to farm it together. And it's not very good. It's a lot worse than Morn's. We can do two levels. Perfect. I'm thinking one dexterity. We can do two. But I'm thinking one dexterity, one endurance. That way we get 152 stamina. And we get some additional attack. And we get some res resistances to bleed, poison, frost, and curse. That's good. And I think that's pretty good. We're one level away from level 100. Let's see, how much did we actually need? I didn't, let's see. We need 60,000, so we don't need a ton. I think I've gotten most of the NPCs. I don't have all of them, for sure. But I have most of them, I like to think. I have a lot of stuff here that we can get. This costs a lot to get all of it. Lorian's armor looks cool, but I doubt I'll get it. <laughs> well, we'll head straight back and get uh, the last levels. I think we needed about 66,000 or something like that. So we'll go for that. We'll aim for 70. It won't take long. <laughs> there we go, Lockwood Castle. I do have the sword as well. Um, I actually have two of them. I have a lot of weapons. Yeah, here they are, Black Knight's great sword. Uh, the one great sword that I've actually liked so far. It's not an ultra great sword. It's just a normal great sword. Uh, yeah, the Black Knight sword. This this one. It's a it's a bit fast, especially when wielded with one hand. It's just not that strong, and it costs a lot to re uh, to upgrade. So I probably won't use it. Wait, we can go for the uh, armor first. Undead Legion. Um, and then we go for the Symbol of Avarice. We can dodge, that's good. We'll reset the room.
I don't know if they've announced any new Dark Souls type games. I never played Demon Souls or any of those. Um, like I said, I played Demon Soul, no, uh, Dark Souls one and two a bit back in the day, but not much. He just doesn't want me to get behind him. Fine, we'll keep my distance a little bit. There we go. That is kind of the key to um, doing this. Large Titanite Shard, 21,000. Actually, I have an idea. We can check. Nah, I don't think he does that, though. Yeah, I don't think he does. I was thinking there is, like, a knight um, at the beginning that I used to farm, like, my very first farming spot where I got the armor, and I was like, yeah, he gave me the same amount of, like, he, no, not the same amount, but he gave me, like, the armor. Maybe he gives me the same amount of souls. But then I realized that, no, he clearly did not, because that way I would have gained 2,500 souls every time I beat him that early on, and I would have been level 100 a long time ago. <laughs> For sure. Best to stockpile a large titanite shards, why not? I love how the kick actually hit him. Uh, the kick is actually really good. I'm just not very good at using it. And that's the primary thing. There we go. Six thousand two hundred ninety-four. Oh wait, wait, we could fight this other guy here actually. Oh, he's like a healer guy. He's like a buff, buff guy, heal, heal buff guy. Here's another one. I forgot what's out here because I rushed here so fast the first time. We could go down here and fight this guy. He is a bit tough though because he's got red eyes. But well, we could try that just for the um just for the heck of it. Oops. I I probably had enough uh, stamina to kill him there, but we got him. I tried to kill him so many times when I came here the first time, like, holy crap, I just couldn't beat him. I ran in here, grabbed the thing, and then I ran up here <laughs> just to, like, get the bonfire, like, just to get past him. Oh, wait, what? Where did he come from? How the heck did that happen? But seriously, though, where did he come from? He was not here. And as I recall, he does not come out of that room, so. I don't think we can get anything that we don't have from him. Like, I think I'm pretty sure we have the full set of armor. I'm pretty sure we have the the weapon and we have the armor, but it's, um, might as well kill him to get the souls, right? It's pretty good. We're almost there. We almost have enough for level. Oh, I was like, what is that movie there? And it's just the dead knights. <laughs> uh, oh well. But yeah, where the heck did that knight go? Like, he just disappeared and reappeared. He was not here when I left last time. That was so weird. He just poof. And then re-poofed, re I guess. still faster to just do this like in that time it took us to do that granted we did probably get more from the the red eye guy but still we could probably kill this guy like three or four times
come on in. Slam. Welcome to the jam. 63,000. We're almost there. One more should do it. We'll do two more just in case, but um, yeah, we should definitely have it after this one. go. Lots of Lothric stuff. We can sell that. It's fine. I like to think that I'm at least fairly decent. I'm not saying that I'm great at this game. I just like to think that I'm at least fairly decent. Granted, I... A lot of bosses I have faced, I have faced at a fairly high level. Um, like, I have, I don't think I've been under-leveled for a single boss so far. But then again, I mean, it's it's so hard to say. Like, when is a boss, like, what is a boss supposed to be fought at for level? It, it's hard to say. <clears throat> um, let's see here. We'll put on... The Archdeacon set. Because why not, right? I mean, I never use it otherwise. Uh, does he not have gauntlets? Guess he doesn't. Um. This will go with the Maiden Gauntlets, then. There we go. Ta-da! I am now an Archdeacon. Dressed up for the occasion of reaching level 100. <clears throat> Let's see here. Yep, we can get to level 100. Um, endurance is really good. What do we get for Dexterity? Strength does give us a little bit more defense. Hmm. But then again, I mean, more HP, though, is not underrated, I think. Um, I think we'll go for stamina, though, for now. <clears throat> we need a lot of stamina. There we go. Level 100. Woo! Nothing new. Nothing out of the ordinary. I think we can still transpose uh, bosses, can't we? If their souls... Crap. Missed. <laughs> it happens. Oh, come on. Why can't I not walk up there? Come on. There we go. Begin transposition. Yes, we can. Good, good, good. <clears throat> Uh, Osiris gives us White Dragon Breath. I don't know, really, like, I mean, there are a lot of cool things here. But it's like... Like, Lothra's Holy Sword looks cool. But it's got 107 damage, so I probably won't use it. Um, Twin Princess, Lorian's Greatsword. That's an Ultra Greatsword, so I probably will never use it. Um, honestly, I kind of want to get the Faron Greatsword. It looks cool, and I feel like it could be very different. We'll see. I'll probably get some of these weapons, to be honest, just because we can. Boulder Heave. Wait. Oh, yeah, because I don't have a Soul of Stray Demon. That's, that's it. <clears throat> Chaos Bed Vestiges. Sounds cool, but I don't have the attributes for it. Soothing Sunlight. Restores high HP for self and broad area. That one's really good, but I don't have it. Steal HP of foes using an illusory scythe. Sounds pretty cool. We'll get the Lothric's Holy Sword, I think. It's probably not that good. Um, but, like I said, the other one is uh, Lorian's Greatsword, which is an ultra greatsword, and I'm just not good with those. We'll get Lothric's. Sure. And we'll get the Pharaoh great so what the heck. Uh, anything else we want to get? Um, 
I can't use any of the... Um, I Wait, I don't have the stats for Lothric Solar Sword. Crap, I just realized that. I do have the stats for the Faron Great Sword, though. <clears throat> uh, Pontiff Solian. He has the Great Sword of Judgment and the Profane Great Sword. This one's a normal Great Sword, and this one's an Ultra Great Sword. I don't know. I don't really know what the difference is, but many times from my experience, the uh, Ultra Great Swords are just heavier and take longer to um, to do their thing. Oh, it's like, um, oh, that's cool. I do like that, that's pretty cool. Charged up attack. If you wheel it with one hand, it's the same, cool. It does seem pretty neat, actually. Probably, it does cost a lot of stamina to use, but it's pretty cool. Uh, let's see here. What, where's the... Uh, there it is. It is so slow. But you can... Is that... Oh. Well, that's pretty cool. Again, though, I'm not a huge fan of these Ultra Great Swords. Uh, Storm Ruler, I think, is pretty cool, but again, it's also very slow. It's not as slow as, like, for example, the last one we trade. I, like I said, I've been trying a lot of weapons here, and I don't really know what to do, to be honest. Like, I, I do love my Black Blade. It is so good. I don't like its ability, though. It is not good. I mean, it's good, probably, but I'm not good with it. That's that's the thing. I think we want to um, unequip this now. I think we're going to go for the uh, um, dark armor, to be honest. It's pretty cool. Again, another um, armor that I'll never really get to use. Oh, we still have the gloves left. There they are. This this armor is cool. I do like it. I do have the dark blade, don't I? But again, I mean that's also just like a one-handed. I've upgraded the Gother uh, twin swords. They seem pretty good. But I haven't upgraded them, like, a ton. We'll see what they cost to upgrade. Because I have a lot of uh, stuff. A lot of upgrade materials. Yeah, they got the Twin Swords. They cost Titanite chunks. I have a lot of them. But at the same time, like, is this really good? Like, it's already at, like, at plus 8. They're gonna have 180. My Black Blade is at plus 10. And it has... Oh, wait, I can't... <laughs> yeah, 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 you don't want to see your work squandered. Um, and it has 244. Ah, <clears throat> I haven't infused it because I don't know how infusion works and I don't want to ruin anything. Sure. Sure. We only have one slab, though. So I don't want to use that. I'll probably just use the Black Blade, to be honest. But still, it's fun to try different weapons and upgrade them a bit and stuff. We'll upgrade the Great Machete. A lot of people like it, like that one. Um, where is it? Uh, the Great Machete. Now that's a butcher's knife. It isn't that bad, speed-wise, but it does take a lot of stamina. Oh, its ability is basically just sharpen. 
Well, that's cool. Um, I have a gargoyle flame hammer. This is cool. I didn't know that it actually lit up. That's cool. I haven't used it. Very slow though. There was this guy who stood on the roof of a place and um, he had one of these. And I just ran right past him and he just jumped off the roof and killed himself. <laughs> so I got it. So I just got this for free. It's like, okay, thank you. The AI is not always the best, but sometimes it's actually really funny. Um, I think I'll probably just put it back to my Black Blade now. And uh, I think we'll change the armor back to Morns. I don't know, I really like Morns. It's really good. It's got a pretty good like balance on, in weight and stuff, so I can wear all the stuff that I want to wear and still be able to like dodge roll properly um, I'm using I'm primarily use the dragon crest shield because it has a lot of fire defense and uh, we need a lot of fire defense because there are a lot of enemies that use fire to try to kill us <laughs> right I hope this uh, I hope you enjoyed listening to me rambling about this and um, this game and other games and stuff I'm not very good at uh, coming up with topics to talk about like when I'm recording. I come up with stuff before and I'm like, oh yeah, that's awesome. I could make a video where I just grind and talk about that. It's gonna be so good. It's gonna be interesting. And then I just start recording and I'm like, uh, talking? How do I do that? <laughs> and it's just like, yes, I am now killing an enemy. I am walking down a path and I am killing an enemy. <laughs> it's just like so stupid. Um, but like I said, I hope you enjoyed listening to my ramblings and uh, watching me get to level 100. That was really fun. Finally at level 100. We'll see. I'll probably give the um, final boss a good old shot fairly soon. And we'll see. But for now, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed. And uh, for now, crack my fingers. Bye!